to another unexpected video. It is cold. <coughs> minus two now. By morning, it's supposed to be uh, minus 18 here in Kansas City, which is minus 27 for you on the Celsius scale. Hadn't been this cold since 1989. It's cold. But on top of the cold with everything else, we're ex for the first time in my life, we are having periodic rolling blackouts. And it's a, man it's, it's a managed system by the electrical grid to not tax the power grid too much. So everyone's getting shut down periodically for 30 minutes or so. I had no idea. You know, I'm just doing my thing and had a print running. The power went out. I got this nice little igloo out of the deal. <laughs> this is actually my storm breaker. This is the the body of the hammer and the head of the hammer of my storm breaker. Okay, so what have we learned from this? The size is big, it's decent. Here's my, I've already started sanding working on the because uh, I printed it like that so this is the rougher side um, so this is I, I made a slot here in the back for that to go in so I wasn't sure if it, how well it was going to fit in there and it does seem to slot right in there now granted I do have a little bit of the this on there to make it a little bit thicker than it was. And I gave myself a little bit of, a little bit of wiggle room, but I try and keep my tolerances real tight. So that fits really well there at the bottom. So I'm going to assume it's going to be okay on the top. And that's going to be my relative size. It's going to be freaking huge. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So that's one thing. This is not going to go to waste because as I look at it, here it's a failed print. Here, with the little archway, it's a space habitat. You know, this is take the pieces of the the printer off and, and it's 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 got that funky look to it, you know. I can use this for something else. So or in theory. I can figure out where this print stops and maybe start the next print on on up from there and then have a second storm breaker. Nothing's going to waste. But here's what we have our learning. Both on this, I had this, the way I had this sitting on the, the plate, this corner here is not as distinct as this one because the corner was lifting up just like here this corner and this corner have have lifted from the bed plate while it was printing i don't know why it's doing that but i i'm going to check my level i i suspect maybe that's what's going on there last week when what was i was having a problem last week i had so, okay, on your, as your, your filament is pulled in, and Lou, this is what, what happened to you that one time, the filament was going down and it had clogged in the, uh, the extruder head, and then as the, the gears were, it was just wearing the filament away to the point where it wasn't gripping the filament anymore. Therefore, it wasn't pushing it down, so I just ended up getting a clog in, in the hot end. To fix that problem, I ended up pulling the, pulling the hot end apart, pulling the nozzle off, throwing the nozzle away, because uh, I bought, a, I have like 10 of them, I got 10 nozzles off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. But... And then I ended up heating up the hot end to pulling the plastic back out, ran some new filament through there, 
it flowed just fine. I was happy. At that point, I should have re-leveled my bit because once you take that that nozzle off and you take on all that part, you've changed that orientation. And I didn't think about that. So I put it all back together. It's flowing. Started a new print. Uh, and I it wasn't even... Yep. And this was it. And it didn't look right. It was too smooth. And it had some bumpiness to it. I'm like, that's not right. Because it should look, it should look like that. And that's when I realized that, that the bed was not at the same level that it was before I changed the nozzle. So I'm going to go back and recheck my, my level on my bed. And what we're being told is the rolling rolling uh, power outages are going to probably be at their end by Wednesday. So if you haven't gotten the print started, don't start one. <laughs> if you're if you're being affected by this winter vortex, if you're being fin uh, affected by the rolling blow blackouts, all you're d gonna do is make frustration for yourself. So just 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 go build something else. Go work on some of those other projects you have set off to the side. That oh, I'm gonna on a on a rainy day. Well. Well, and then there's not much I could have been doing with this. This still had another 36 hours before it would have been done printing anyway. So there's really much, not much I would have been able to do with this anyway. But I can get that sanded and work on that. But we're going to set you off to the side for the moment and pull out one of our myriad kits, maybe the Galactica. And get that rolling but this is my public service message to you i guess <laughs> stay warm be safe don't print anything conserve your energy they're telling you to help turn your thermostats down a little bit don't don't use any extra electricity that you don't need to which 3d printer doesn't need to be running right now so if that helps out the cause then so be it. We'll just wait till Wednesday and start a print. And maybe by, hmm, if I started it early enough on Wednesday, it might be ready by the Friday update. So until then, stay warm, be safe, go build something. <laughs>